Hi time. everyone. Everything under control? What? Peter Pfaffhausen is proud of his record at Potsdam's combined heat and power plant. He's been in charge here for 11 years. The plant doesn't use dirty brown coal. Instead, it's been generating heat and electricity since 1995 with natural gas. It's a very clean and highly efficient way of producing electricity and generating heat at the same time. It makes sense financially, and it's also a wise way of making use of our resources. Potsdam hasn't drawn on any nuclear-generated power since last autumn. For Pfaffhausen, it was an important decision. More than half of the Brandenburg state capital's 155,000 residents are customers of the municipal heating and power plant. This is the yeah. Biblis nuclear plant in the central state of Hessen. Peter Pfaffhausen helped build the facility more than 30 years ago. That was before Chernobyl, a turning point in his life. We never even stopped to think about just how dangerous it was. We always figured, well, okay, nuclear power plants just need to have special safety requirements. But nobody ever thought that the fuel rods would reach a state where they were no longer controllable. After the events in Japan, Pfaffhausen says Germany has to change its thinking. I agree that what's happening now is political actionism to a certain extent, especially when it comes to taking reactors offline immediately. The government is panicking because of the upcoming elections. But I'm not so sure about the corporations, which have already invested billions to build them and would now lose billions in profits. They might say, how likely is a tsunami in Germany or an earthquake? But we can all count ourselves lucky so far that no airplane has ever crashed into a nuclear reactor. The engineer wants to improve Potsdam's climate record. He's in favor of green energy sources. One part of the plan is to replace old tram cars in the city this year with newer ones that use considerably less energy. His goal is to generate 20% of Potsdam's power needs with renewable sources, and he's already fitted the roof of the bus and tram storage facility with solar power cells. Puffhausen hopes that one day Germany can do without nuclear energy altogether. I hope to live to be 100. That means I still have 40 years ahead of me. I don't think we'll be nuclear-free by then, but we should all try to do what we can, each of us as individuals and the big energy companies, We'll have to take big steps. Pfaffhausen is well aware that renewable sources won't be able to replace nuclear energy across the country at affordable prices anytime soon. But he hopes his decision against nuclear power will at least set an example.